the treatment options, um, generally, if we can find someone with early stage lung cancer, uh, surgery is the best way to eradicate it. Um, there are some patients that are not really surgical candidates because they have very poor lung function. And it used to be that we weren't able to offer anything to them. Now, there are many new uh, treatment modalities that are coming online. One right now is um, stereotactic beam radiation therapy. So we can navigate to a lesion, we can biopsy it. At the same time, we can leave what are called fiducial markers, which are these little gold markers. We have computers that can sense the location of the markers and move with the movement of the tumor inside the patient. And in doing that, we can uh, really focus uh, almost with the precision of a knife, and that's what's sometimes referred to as cyber knife, um, to uh, ablate or eradicate a particular lesion without damaging surrounding uh, structures. Okay, so that's been a huge advance. Using, again, navigational bronchoscopy and steering to a particular site, we are going to be able to do microwave radiation where we can have an energy probe that we've delivered to a particular site and, uh, and basically fry the tumor inside the uh, person and destroy that tissue. Uh, we're also going to be able to inject chemotherapies directly into lesions and um, uh, something that's really very exciting is the development of immunotherapy and, and being able to locally deliver that uh, directly to a tumor as well. It used to be you'd get a diagnosis of lung cancer and it was like a death sentence. Uh, the survival was uh, less than 85, uh, was less than 15 percent. 85 percent of patients uh, died. And uh, we're now reversing that. And um, if we can find patients with stage one or two disease, uh, which is what we're doing because we have these very powerful tools now, the survival is now like 85 to 90 percent as opposed to being you know, 10 to 15 percent. If we find someone with stage zero or carcinoma in situ disease, a uh, very limited uh, surgery is all that's necessary. Just doing a wedge resection, taking a snippet of the lung is probably all that patient needs. And then we need to follow them uh, long term with CAT scans. And, that kind of patient, you know, now we're, we're doing robotic surgery. They just get a few small punctures on the side of their chest. The recovery is a matter of days, and uh, within a week or so, they're back to full activity without any limitation. If we do a lobectomy, again, we're doing that now robotically as well. Patients in the hospital three to five days, and then within two weeks, they're back to full activity. When we have more advanced disease, we are doing more... Uh, video assisted surgery. We still have to do a small thoracotomy. Again, within two to four weeks in that circumstance, a patient is back to full activity. And uh, you know, then going forward, we typically get a CAT scan every six months for two years, and then yearly after that. Mm -hmm.